Art just adds so much to the world. It's something which keeps your, your head going, you know? I think that we make things because it's the way we understand ourselves. There's such a wide variety that people can look at the catalog and say, wow, I never knew the Art Center was doing that. <laughs> this place is really cool because you can put your creative ideas into action. was really no place where everybody could meet together and be a consistent consist of a community and so the art center was well it was called the white bears uh, you know arts council at the time and so that was the focus to bring people together to communicate and to function as a community it was a pretty small group to start out with but then they really got a, a lot of events going for the visual arts and I thought, geez, that's really impressive because here's community that are out of the uh, realm of education, but in the realm of promoting creative things like the arts. So I got involved in a lot of those things and that's how I got involved with this logo and I designed that and, and uh, uh, that worked out. And uh, fortunately I was able to find one and I'm never thinking I'd be looking up 50 years later. <laughs> We uh, had the offer from uh, Mark Sather and the uh, city of White Bear Lake to offer programming in the armory for art classes. And it, that was at the moment when we changed the name from the White Bear Arts Council to the White Bear Center for the Arts. We wanted to be a lot more than just a visual arts center and we wanted to expand into a lot of different types of media. And, and, uh, and it's, it's great to see that they're still doing that. Well, I just think they became more inclusive. I think that was an important part that we did the visual, we did the music, and we did the writing and uh, the creativeness of, I mean, it was such a strong creative community and things were just hidden away. I mean, everybody did their own little corner and then all of a sudden everything just started coming out of the woods and everybody was just kind of astounded how much creativity there was out here. Right towards the end, we interviewed Peter Kramer, who is a well-known architect for nonprofits and everything else on there. So he comes in, sits down, and we said, well, what have you got? He said, well, I have a piece of paper. I said, what would you like in your building? So he was the first person that said what we would like and not what they would like to do. And I was struck right from the whole process that the people on the board at that time, and Susie, these were, these were folks who had been champions of this program and were, were, everybody was going in the same direction. He, he was just a totally different kind of architect and he wasn't interested in just a building. It's a, it's a livable kind of organization, dynamic organization. How do we go about, you know, who benefits from this, making this place? So we're in a, in a great position. This building has created this flow of people. And one of the things we noticed is a lot of people that came in and says, well, I didn't know this was here. A great facility both for a classroom and also for exhibitions. And one of the things that I uh, always notice when I am at any kind of an event there is that it's packed. It's also a beautiful campus. When you're there, you understand that it's about celebrating creativity. Bear Lake Art Center is a place where you can use your creativity and your artistic ability to make whatever you want and have fun with it. And that's that's what I think the purpose of an art center is, to, to expose people to those possibilities. So when I'm at home like painting or drawing, I sometimes get kind of stuck because I don't really have like all the techniques or all the knowledge. 
But then when I come here, there's like so many teachers and other people who like know what they're doing. And they always help me like get unstuck or think of new techniques or how to paint differently. And it always just helps me, I kind of think, to be more creative and also think more outside of the box. It's a very important part of the Art Center is being accepting and being open to a lot of different ideas and a lot of new classes and a new way of approaching life. I know that in this Art Center you'll see a lot of people that are normally not artists but they need, they finally fulfill that. I had a student that I had once and she came here and uh, she said, I'm finally back to taking care of myself. <laughs> and so they come here. Wiper Center for the Arts brings together people in a way that they wouldn't naturally come together. It has this wonderful sense of community, but it's a eclectic group and a diverse group of people that are coming for different reasons, and um, they might not cross paths otherwise, so I think there's lots of value. I think it's also important for different groups to be able to use that space as a group and learn and grow together around the arts. People see art differently. They appreciate art differently. And so to be able to share those different perspectives brings us together. I think the arts have a, an important role to play to help um, build awareness, to help people understand one another and be in community in a way that um, a lot of times we don't have a chance to do. So the feeling when we first come, came here in, uh, at the center, it just felt like, oh, it's the right place for them to discover what they have in store. So it's, it's good, it's amazing.